Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Tumashenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.7 and problem number 2.104. To determine experimentally the coefficient of friction for steel on steel, flat plates of negligible weight compared with the large top weight W are stacked on a horizontal plane as shown in figure C. Alternate plates are held together by loose fitting vertical pins A and B. The pin A is anchored to a steel slab and a horizontal pull applied to the pin B as shown. If there are 5 mobile plates and slipping occurs when the horizontal dull has the magnitude P, what is the coefficient of friction mu? That means there are total 10 plates. Out of the 10 plates, 5 plates are connected to a fixed member that is A and another 5 are connected to B. And all these 5 plates are placed alternate to each other. Force P is applied to this B. Now our interest is to find the coefficient of friction mu. For that, let us draw the free body diagram for the weight W. Of course, the first force is the self weight W always acts downwards and all this W is placed on this uh, 10 plates. So there is a normal reaction acts vertically upwards here. And now there is a frictional force acts in the opposite direction of the movement. In this direction there is a force P and opposite to that there is the frictional force mu n. Now there are 10 plates. And each plate is having a frictional force mu into n. Here, let the normal reaction is n and the frictional force is mu into n. All are steel plates and the friction force between these two plates, these two plates, these two plates, these two plates are same. And the total force, total force by adding all, then you will get 10 mu into n. And there is an applied force P acting like this. So, if you consider the free body diagram and by applying the equilibrium conditions sigma fx is equal to 0, then p is equal to 10 mu into n, p is acting towards right side, mu n is acting towards left side, so p is equal to 10 mu into n and if you consider sigma fy is equal to 0, w is equal to n you will get because w is acting downwards, n is acting upwards, hence you will get w is equal to n. From equation 1, you can say P is equal to 10 mu into W or the coefficient of friction mu is equal to P divided by 10 into W. This is the answer for the given problem.